how to be healthy. This is actually the question I typed into Google over six years ago before discovering a diet high in quality animal foods. Let's take a step back and understand the very basic requirements of being healthy. Diet, sun, water, exercise, environment, and sleep in no particular order. All of these are necessary for one to find their true health. We are essentially replicating how our ancestors, hunter-gatherers, indigenous people lived in all of these aspects. Diet. Humans require certain nutrients, vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids to survive to be in optimal health. Just about every single modern problem we are suffering from can be attributed to diet. Everyone is suffering from nutrient deficiencies. These nutrients only being contained in animal foods that have been raised in their proper environment. Plant foods like grains, fruits, and vegetables don't actually contain these nutrients or they are not in the form that humans can digest and convert and utilize to build our bodies. The incorporation of grass-fed meats, wild-caught fish, pasture-raised eggs, raw dairy, essentially any high-quality animal foods, wild game meats, into one's diet is the first step in fixing these nutrient deficiencies. All of our hunter-gatherer ancestors consumed approximately 60% of their calories solely from animal foods. Now, in America, we consume about 30% and the food is a much lower quality, so we're not even getting a fraction of the nutrients that our bodies need. The next step is to remove any negative or inflammatory foods from one's diet, whether it be vegetable seed oils, refined foods, fast foods, junk foods, Incorporate the positive into your diet. Remove the negative from your diet. Up next is the sun, being crucial to life, specifically for vitamin D3. It is required for all cells in the body, bone growth during early stages of life, proper energy metabolism. Our lack of vitamin D3 is why everyone drinks coffee. Vitamin D3 works with all of the nutrients that we obtain from animal foods. And the easiest way to fix a vitamin D3 deficiency is to supplement or if you have the time and you're in the right climate at the right time of the year, you can sunbathe. Water. Most water sources are polluted with various things such as fluoride, chlorine, antibiotics, hormones, herbicides, pesticides. We need to make sure our water source is clean by filtering it or sourcing our water from a spring or a well, even buying certain waters from the market. Exercise. Exercise is important for stimulating many metabolic processes in the body from bone and muscle development to antioxidant systems, digestive motility, and to be honest, Exercise is not really necessary or required initially to fix most health issues, but it certainly speeds up the process for most people. Environment. We are susceptible to high levels of EMF, electromagnetic frequency radiation from electronic devices, cell phone towers, which cause stress on calcium metabolism in cells, leading to reduced function of many bodily processes. In addition to that, we are no longer grounded in touch with the earth. The earth contains electrons, essentially free antioxidants for our body. And when we put on shoes or live in a house or walk on concrete, we are no longer getting these electrons. Sleep. Depending on all of these other factors, your demand for sleep will vary. But for certain, we need to try to get in line with some sort of circadian rhythm, reducing blue light before bed, and trying to go to bed when the sun sets, waking up when the sun rises. Sleeping in a high EMF environment or a highly polluted environment generally will not result in deep REM sleep, uh, which is what we need. Uh, grounding can also improve the quality of your sleep drastically. So a lot of these things tie in, uh, mostly environment and sleep with the other factors. Uh, this can be related to you know air pollution, pollution of the food, lack of minerals in the soil. 
And there are certainly a lot of modern considerations that we have to keep in mind when trying to replicate the lives of an ideal human being in our indigenous, our hunter-gatherer ancestors. Thank you guys for joining me today. As I said earlier, I really felt the need to take a step back because I take a lot of this stuff for granted. I know a lot of you guys might understand these concepts because you've been watching a lot of my videos or you've just spent hundreds of hours rummaging through all of my videos. But when people actually come to me for consultations, they're missing a lot of these key factors and basics. Uh, they might address some aspects of their diet or lifestyle based on what they've seen in some of my videos, but to get a glimpse of what it takes uh, to improve your health in all aspects of your life, you have to touch on each of these things. So if you guys uh, would like to support me further, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. Frankiesfreerangemeat.com provides you with high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Definitely keep an eye on Frankie's Free Range Meat over the next few days. Uh, we're going to have some products back in stock and we might run a sale or two. Frankie's Naturals Hygiene and Cosmetic Products deals with some of these modern problems. We have fluoride free tooth powder. We have aluminum free deodorant. Just some pollutants that end up in products that you use on a daily basis. If you guys do want to reach out to me for one on one health consultations pertaining to all of these aspects, you can send me an email. Frank A. Tofano at gmail.com. Thanks again, everyone, and enjoy your week.